This video describes how to secure the D6686 IP communicator to prevent internet-based attackers from using all available sessions and locking the device. To enable the password for Telnet sessions and keep internet attackers from attempting to utilize the second available tunnel, you will need to be sure that the D6686 is on the same subnet as the PC that you will be using. And you will need the IP address of the D6686, which can be found using the network utility in the D6200 software. Begin by opening a Telnet prompt from the Run dialog. At the Telnet prompt, enter the word Open, followed by the IP address of the unit, and press Enter. Since Telnet authentication is probably disabled by default, it should come up with the unit short name, D6686, followed by a greater than symbol. If no short name is programmed in the unit, the prompt will merely be a greater than symbol by itself. At the prompt, type EN and press Enter. This gives the user an elevated privilege on the device. Then, enter the configuration mode by typing CONF and pressing Enter. Next, type CLI and press Enter to configure the command line interface. To designate the new password, type login password and the new password you would like and then press Enter. Then, type Telnet and press Enter, applying the password to the Telnet login. Next, type Authentication Enable and press Enter to turn on the authentication requirement for Telnet. After making that change, type Write and press Enter to save your settings. Then type EX and press Enter three times until you are at D6686 Enable hashtag. Once there, type Reload and press Enter. When prompted with, are you sure, yes or no, type yes and press Enter. At this point, the D6686 will reboot and the next time the Telnet command is attempted, a login prompt will appear. Bosch. Invented for life.